always watching, always tracking, so we can warn you first. This is your Storm Team 27 forecast. Well, if you're like me and once the temperatures hit about 80 degrees, you start not liking it too much. Well, that's going to be tomorrow. The heat's going to create a little bit of problems out there. But other than that, just the rain and storms by the time we get late in the day tomorrow and those pollen numbers, they're still remaining high out there. That's our trouble tracker for tonight. Tonight, though, or for the next 24 hours tonight, though, we're sitting in the lower 70s. So a beautiful evening out there after our high of 82 degrees. Uh, night. Nice night tonight. We're not really going to drop these temperatures too much more as we start your day on Sunday. Temperatures, again, they're pretty mild. 71 in Alliance and at Guilford Lake, as well as in Columbiana and downtown Youngstown. One of our cooler spots is 65 over there in Sandy Lake, 67 in Mesopotamia. There's a rain shower just out around that area as well. And uh, notice those temperatures, they're in the 70s here, but just parts of uh, central PA. Temperatures are about 10, 15 degrees cooler. That's where the warm front is sitting, and that's what sparked a few of these showers out there this evening. That's where the warm front is. The main system is off to our west, and that's going to start chugging along here over the next uh, several hours into tomorrow afternoon. That's what's going to cause a few rain showers and thunderstorms as we get again into our Sunday evening into early Monday morning. Here's those rain showers, a few sprinkles into parts of southwestern uh, Trumbull County into northern Mahoning County, and some heavier rain up in northern parts of Trumbull County. That's just going to clip the area. Other than that, uh, just a mostly cloudy skies, often on clouds, as uh, those rain showers work their way through overnight. As we get into the day tomorrow, about this time tomorrow, be watching for another round of showers and thunderstorms as that low pressure that I was showing you comes through. The severe weather outlook for tomorrow, so a few of these may get strong uh, as we get into tomorrow evening. Those wind gusts will be the main threat with some of these stronger storms as we go through tomorrow. I'll be here tomorrow tracking those as we need it. As we go through your trouble or future tracker tonight, those notice those temperatures by the time you start your day tomorrow morning in the mid to upper 60s, so a mild start to the day Sunday if you're heading out early tomorrow morning. Then as we get into the afternoon, those temperatures will spike rapidly and watch those wind gusts. Those will start gusting to 25 to 35 miles per hour as we go through the afternoon and evening tomorrow ahead of that storm system. But look at these temperatures, mid 80s tomorrow. So one of the warmer days we've had so far this year. And then those rounds of showers and thunderstorms start working their way in again around this time tomorrow, 9, 10, 11 o'clock. Uh, Future Tracker pointing these out quite uh, rigorously as we go through the evening tomorrow. And then those will uh, fade away quite rapidly again as we start your day on Monday morning. A little cooler, lower 60s to start your day Monday. A few clouds around, and then we'll see some sunshine as we go later in the Monday afternoon. A cooler day on Monday. Temperatures only getting to around 70 degrees for your afternoon highs on Monday. Tonight, 64 degrees with just an isolated shower or a thunderstorm early this evening, uh, as I showed you on the radar tonight. Then tomorrow, 85 degrees, a mild, warm day. Those gusty winds approaching through the afternoon and those rain showers and chance of thunderstorms late day into early overnight tomorrow. Here's that seven-day forecast. Those cooler temperatures on Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday only getting into the middle 60s after a cooler start in the lower 40s. We warm up ahead of another storm system by the time we get to late Wednesday into Thursday. Temperatures back into the lower 80s by Thursday, back to the middle 80s. Another warm day on Friday with those scattered thunderstorms around Thursday, a slight chance on Friday, and better chance as we get to this time next week. Highs in the upper 70s next Saturday with an isolated thunderstorm.